Good morning. I'm a little late trying to get a devotional together for early in the week, and so we're going to have a thought in the middle of the week, maybe to help us get through. I've been behind pretty severely, sewer lines and trips and things that had to be done. We're going to talk a little bit this morning about the adversary. The adversary. In 1 Peter 5, in verse 8, he says, Be sober minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. You know, we live in this country right now with many things going on, whether they were planned or whether they just occurred. Really too much information out there to figure out. And yet, this idea of Satan being a roaring lion seeking someone to devour. The first look and see Peter is talking to the Christians and yet this can go to those even even those who do not know God as their Savior that they might seek him or accept Christ as their Savior that they might seek him that they might follow God. But I want us to think about these things that are happening around us. Is it not Satan seeking to devour us? As we listen to these things, as we see these things on the news, as we as we mourn the difficulties that are happening in the streets, isn't Satan striving to bring each Christian down, to discourage them, to make them feel uh, at times as if all were lost? There is no hope. We find ourselves looking uh, onto all these things in the media and, and that are happening in the public and and we began to feel heartbroken, depressed, anxiety, fear, maybe rage, maybe even these bringing us to a point of anger and hate. <coughs> all the things that go against what God wants us to do. We have troubles. We began to, to spend a lot of time looking at Facebook or watching the news. And within that media, there is many there are many good things that can happen. The fact that you can put the Word of God on Facebook and many other things, and it's been used. There are good things, but there are also many, many bad things and evil things that come through. The lies, the propaganda, the the hurtful ideas, the uh, false statements that are made that we can't really know whether they're true or false. We look for the truth and, and we find the truth and it says it is and then we find out it says it isn't. You see, Satan likes to play with the mind of a Christian. If he can't get to you any other way, then he can begin to make you Look at yourself and question whether you're right or wrong, whether it's truth or not, whether I can handle this or not. Is it just, is it worth it? He seeks someone to devour and he is relentless. He uses people. He uses anything that he can to convince us. But all is lost. Then maybe there really isn't a God. But there is. Maybe there really isn't any hope. But there is. You see the rest of the scripture. If we look at it. We say how does one. How does one remain strong in Christ. How does one give himself over to God. And say I, whatever. Whatever it, it is that. You're accomplishing with this. I'm all in. I will remain strong. I will do the things that you ask me to do. The willingness to stand up and, and to tell others that this isn't what God wants from us as, as people. As people that he created. 
In verse 6 of chapter 5 of 1 Peter, it, it, it begins, Humble yourself therefore under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time he may exalt you. Casting all your anxieties on him because he cares for you. Then he goes into this, be sober-minded, be watchful. Be ever, ever looking. When we look into these things on Facebook, if it doesn't sound right, just don't read it. Just leave it alone. The things that are said out in the open, we need to make sure that they are things that belong to God. Be, be sober-minded. Think as you should think. Don't let yourself be swayed to and fro. Give yourself over to God in prayer. Pray about each of these things as we see them happen. Lord, what can I do? How can I help? Don't be carried away by the things that say it's hopeless and what one man can do isn't enough. Continue in prayer to God, seeking Him, humbling yourself to Him. Be watchful, your adversary, the devil prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. He says, resist him. You know, it, it come to a point in time when many people have got to a point they don't resist anymore. All right, it just ain't worth it. Let's just go ahead. It's just not worth it. He said, resist him. Resist him firm in your faith, knowing that the same kind of suffering is being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. It's just not here. It, it's everywhere. Satan seeks someone to devour. He will not stop. You know, we have difficulty with the rest of this. He says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, if I belong to God, if I stay steadfast, no matter what happens in this world, no matter the difficulties that are faced, no matter the the failures that happen, no matter if all of these things they're talking about do really occur, He says, and after you have suffered a little while, the God of grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Jesus Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and establish. He will make us pure. He will make us victorious. But it's victorious in him. Not in this world. The home we're searching for is not here on this earth. It's with him. To him be dominion forever and ever. Give God the glory. Seek his way. No matter what happens, say, I'm going to remain here. I'm going to resist this Satan who who is ever-present somehow or another. He has many tools. He has many followers. If you're a Christian, you know who this God is. You know his strength. Find someone to help you through these days, through these difficult times. Tell them it's it difficult and that you're suffering, but that you need their strength. You need God's strength. If you're not a Christian today, you can become one. You can give yourself over to God. You can find that place where you have the ability to continue on. You have the strength to stand because it's not your strength anymore. You can belong to God and, and fight these things through his strength. If you wish to pursue this idea of giving yourself over to God, I'd ask that you would contact me in some manner. That you would uh, give me, send me a private message or if you're here close, Come by and see me. But I want you to think that, that you can go on. We can continue on in Christ. We can live the life we, we want to live. Maybe not with all the pleasantries we see that we like. But knowing that we belong to God. And it's through his strength we can stand again. The wiles of Satan. I hope that you... 
if I'm not able to get back this week or late in the week, devotional, I have some things I must do. I hope that you enjoy your weekend. I hope that if you're close to us here in Dora, New Mexico, that you would come and that you would worship with us at 10 o'clock in the morning. A simple service. Not too long. But it's the word of God. It offers you strength. It offers you care. Thank you so much for being with us this morning. I hope that you find this encouraging and uplifting and that you can face the week as we go through the rest of this week. Thank you so much.